talk about the importance of our relationship with abundance. So I've seen some Young Living members who have been doing everything right in their Young Living business, yet things just haven't flowed for them. And sometimes that blockage is around our ability to receive abundance. It's as if somewhere inside of us we have this thought that we're just not worthy of such success in our life and such abundance and flow in our life. So that thought creates this ceiling above our head so that we can grow only so far and we can't seem to break through that ceiling. And when that happens, it can feel like there's a lot of hard work and love and energy going into Young Living, but it's not being reflected with an equal amount of energy and abundance coming from Young Living. Now, I just see this occasionally. However, it's something that even for myself, I realized that I had a ceiling over my head on what I thought was acceptable to earn. Like, how could I possibly earn this much? That's such an enormous amount of abundance. And so even for me working on my prosperity consciousness allowed me to make such a breakthrough in March 2020 that I skyrocketed up with my team and we reached Royal Crown Diamond. That was so exciting. And I attribute a lot of the catalyst of that to the changes that I made around my relationship with myself. So what I realized is that very often we come to Young Living and we just want to help people. And our energy is so beautiful and we're giving ourselves into helping others and making a difference. And that allows energy to pour out. But for that energy to come back to us, we need to be able to receive. And Young Living seems to attract in such beautiful hearted people. But I often notice that these beautiful hearted people might have just a little bit of difficulty receiving. That's why one of the things I love doing when members of my team reach the ranks of silver and above, which is the leadership ranks in Young Living, I love to choose a gift for them. And I'll always ring them up and um, or reach out to them and I might ask them the question, what are you doing to celebrate reaching silver? And you know, sometimes they've got these beautiful plans of how they're going to celebrate this hard work that's gone into reaching this rank. But other times they're like, oh, no, probably uh, nothing in particular. And I think, oh, I just want you to be able to receive the amazing celebration that you deserve to have right now. So for you, I want you to bring a focus into not just giving with love, but also receiving with love. The thing that I did in March 2020, which was this amazing catalyst, it was actually a seven oil process. And I want to share with you how I do that process. And I want to invite you to build this into every day for yourself. This is an amazing process and I'm going to explain how it works. So firstly, we take the oil blend Valor and we do three drops of Valor into our right hand. Just let it drop from a height into your palm, just like that. And rub it three times clockwise. Let me see if you can see my foot three times clockwise under your right foot. And then do the same with the left foot. So three drops of Valor into your left hand and it's going to be rubbed three times clockwise under your left foot like that. And then you're just going to hold right hand to right foot, left hand to left foot and just hold like that. And this is just amazing. We call this a Valor balance. You 
can also do it on other people. It's actually a beautiful thing to do on any loved one who's feeling stressed or had a bad day or to do on your children before they go to bed at night to help them sleep soundly. But the valor balance brings us into balance with ourselves. Valor essential oil has the same frequency as our skeleton. So it actually tells our skeleton to come into perfect balance. But it also contains oils that the Roman soldiers used to wear into battle. So it gives us courage and confidence and self-esteem. And so it's a perfect oil blend to put under your feet when you're about to step out of your comfort zone and share young living with other people, do any activities that for you might have a little bit of fear associated with it. So put your valor under your feet, give yourself a valor balance and let yourself connect with you. So once you've done that for a couple of minutes, the next oil is Sacred Mountain. And for those of you that don't have these oils, I will give you some other suggestions, but I must say I actually love these particular oils. So Sacred Mountain, rub it on your shoulders and up your neck. It's got some beautiful tree oils in it. They're wonderful for neck tension and muscle tension. So you can actually be blessing and releasing tension at the same time that you're doing this. But the reason that I've chosen this oil as step number two is Gary Young created Sacred Mountain to remind us of being in the forest. He loved the forest. He loved the wilderness. For him, every year he would get on horseback with his family. They'd ride into the wilderness. They'd just switch off from the world and have some time there as their annual holiday. And so when you put sacred mountain oil onto yourself, it allows you to feel that sense of being protected under the canopy of the forest. And this is so important because, again, as we share Young Living with other people, we're going to be doing some activities that take us out of our comfort zone and we want to be able to speak with great sensitivity and authenticity and feel safe enough to do that. So I see Sacred Mountain as an oil that empowers us to be truly authentic and vulnerable within ourselves, which is a state that will allow other people to feel very connected with us. They like to be able to see that we're no different to them. We have our own insecurities as well. Our life has its ups and downs as well. So this is a beautiful oil blend to help us be in that state of exactly who we are in this moment and not having to pretend, yet still in that state to be able to connect with other people. The third oil is gathering. Gathering oil helps to bring scattered energies together. So just a drop or two on your palm and you're going to rub it here on the solar plexus area. So just about a hand's width above your navel. And gathering oil, I love using it in my workshops. If I'm teaching a class and everyone's a bit distracted and in their head, I'll give everyone a drop of gathering oil and it just helps to bring everyone onto the same page and totally focused. And that's the beauty of gathering oil. It helps gather scattered energies together. So I see it as a way of drawing energy in from the universe to build up my own personal energy. So when you apply it here, just imagine that you have this ball of beautiful glowing blue light and I imagine it being about the same color as the sky. So this blue light and just with each breath, that light is expanding. It's drawing energy to itself from the universe and it's growing bigger and bigger. And this is just a way of empowering your sense of life force. The solar plexus chakra is actually the center of our will. And so this is actually a really great place for us to anchor our authority so that we speak with greater conviction. So as you bring up, build up energy and imagine that blue light growing in this area, that's also going to help you to feel like your whole sense of self is expanding, your whole sense of anchoring is happening. The next oil 
is gratitude oil and this goes on the heart. So one or two drops onto the heart chakra, which is at the center of the chest, just the lower center of the chest. And when you put that on, let yourself think about something in your life outside of yourself that you're truly grateful for. Because when we focus on gratitude, we're actually looking at our glasses being half full, not half empty. Because there are going to be times in your Young Living journey that you are blitzing it. And there's going to be times that things happen that are maybe not so comfortable. You might have, um, it might be a dynamic with someone in your team. It could be something that's going on with Young Living on a corporate level where their website might be playing up or there's things that are causing you frustrations. You'll find that putting gratitude oil onto your heart will help you focus on everything that's good about situations. It lets you see the silver lining in any situation. So when you put it on, choose one thing that day that you acknowledge and you're grateful for that's outside of yourself, whether it's another person, whether it's itself, whatever it might be, just acknowledge that. And then we bring that energy closer to home. So we then use sensation oil and we put a drop of sensation oil or two. And this goes onto our sacral chakra, also called the sexual chakra. And it is one hand's width underneath our navel and just rub it three times clockwise there. The reason for the three times clockwise movement, we do that often when we're putting oils on, is that the clockwise, clockwise is how our DNA spins when it's healthy. So when we rotate an oil three times clockwise, we're affirming for health. And the idea of the clock is it's as if you're outside looking in. So you've got to imagine you've stepped outside your body and you're looking at your body and that's the clock face. So once you've put sensation oil on, this is the oil for self-love. And I want you just to take a moment and acknowledge something about yourself that you are grateful for or that you appreciate. And this is such an important part of this process because we need to be able to love ourselves more, to be appreciative of our own gifts and our own efforts to love on us just in the same way that we're loving on our team and our community. And it's by doing this that we actually allow ourselves to feel worthy enough to receive the growing abundance that Young Living can bring to us. So this is such an important oil in this seven oil process and and the pausing to actually acknowledge what is it you love and appreciate about yourself. So the next oil is abundance oil. Abundance oil is created using the essential oils that the pharaohs used to use in ancient Egypt to attract prosperity. So just one drop on your wrist, rub your wrist together. And when I do that, I like to inhale the abundance and sweep it over myself and I acknowledge as I'm sweeping it over myself that I deserve abundance, that I deserve unlimited abundance to be able to live with no constraints financially to allow abundance on all levels, abundance of all types to pour into my life. So that's what I affirm for when I'm stroking myself with the abundance oil. And then complete the process with white angelica. White angelica seals the aura. This means that all those beautiful changes that you've just actioned, the transformations that you've just had energetically through the seven oil process are going to get sealed in. So I rub my hands together. I anoint my shoulders. You can do three times clockwise. And then I stroke my entire aura with the beautiful white angelica oil. So this will also help to protect you from any type of negativity. 
So if anyone's throwing doubts your way on whether you really can do this, this will help you to be very clear on deflecting that negative energy that they might be showering on you so that you can just feel the effects of this beautiful process that you've done for yourself and that you can acknowledge your worthiness to receive. Now, if you didn't have these oils, you could do this with the Feelings Kit oils. However, it will create a somewhat different energy. So personally, I love these seven oils for this process, for breaking through barriers. If you wanted to do the Feelings Kit oils, just to experiment and see how that is for you, you would start with Valor under the feet, you would then, instead of the sacred mountain on your shoulders, you would put release on your shoulders. That helps you let go of anything that you no longer need in your life. And like sacred mountain, it's beautiful for muscular tension. Then instead of gathering, to gather the scattered energies together, you would use present time oil, which helps you to anchor into the present moment. So it has a similar impact to gathering. It anchors you into your own personal power. Then on your heart, instead of gratitude, you would put forgiveness oil and you would still acknowledge something or someone outside of yourself that you're grateful for. Then on the sacral chakra, instead of sensation oil, you would use inner child oil and this brings the playful inner child out. Then you would still need to get abundance oil. There's no substitute for abundance. It's not in the feelings kit. So abundance still goes on the wrist. And then you would finish with harmony oil on your shoulders and over your aura to seal the aura. Harmony oil brings our chakras into balance. So that's how you could do this exercise with the feelings kit oils. So now you've got two different variations of it. And you might be thinking, why is this so important to do? And again, I want to remind you, this comes under the category of working smarter, not harder. Because if you're carrying a sense of unworthiness to receive the gifts that Young Living's about to offer you, then you won't be flowing with this as easily as you could. So use a process like this to actually take that ceiling off your self-love, to be able to love yourself so deeply and so fully and to be in harmony with all other aspects of your life so that you can have Young Living truly bless you at the magnitude that it's designed to bless you. So this is another way of working smarter, not harder. It takes only less than 10 minutes to do this exercise and just do it with great presence. I like to do it of a morning as I start my day because this sets my energy so that it's right for the day and so that I can have the best outcome for that particular day. So I love to goal set of a morning and I love, even before goal setting, I love to start with this process to get my energy into the right place. So I know that when you start doing the seven oil process, you're going to find it just as amazing as I have and just watch what it brings into your life.